Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so we're getting ready to do our reteach over additive and multiplicative relationships using tables and graphs. Um, for those of you that didn't too, too, do too well on your quiz from Friday. So I'm gonna go over a few examples to hopefully um, clear up some misunderstandings on what you had. And then you're gonna go and retake your quiz and hopefully we can get your grade better. All right, let's go ahead and share my screen. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna start with this uh, graph. Now you may notice that there are two uh, lines going on here, but don't worry about that. We're only gonna look at one of them for our purposes. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're transferring data from a table, excuse me, from a graph to a table, we need to identify our X and our Y, okay? Remember, you always plot the X, then the Y. I have put my table down here. I put L for my laps and T for my time, okay? We're only gonna look at Todd because I like his numbers. So if I look at Todd's first dot, the X is on zero and the Y is also on zero. So I'm gonna put zero, zero for my first ordered pair. If I travel to his next dot, I see that my X is on one and my Y is three. So I'm gonna put one and three. His next dot, I see the X is on two and the Y is on six. Oh, apparently I didn't give myself enough squares. Let me draw another one. Then on his fourth dot, I see that the X is on three and the Y is on nine. So I'm going to put three and nine, okay? So I have transferred my information to the table. This is helpful because now I can look for the pattern, which will help me build my equation. Remember, when you're looking for your equation from a table or graph, you're trying to say, what is happening to my X to get my Y, okay? So let's look at our table. X, Y. Well, since I have zero, zero for my first uh, pair, I'm gonna move on to the second pair to see where I can find a relationship. So my X to my Y, I went up. My numbers went up. If my numbers are going up, that means I either multiplied by something or I added something. So let's say we added something. What can I add to one to get a three? If you said two, that is correct. One plus two gives me three. So let's see if that works over here. Two plus two, does that give me six? It does not. Two plus two gives me four. So that means I did not add two to get these answers. So I need to go back over here. So my other option is multiplication because remember my numbers are going up. What can I multiply one by to get to three? If you said three, that is correct. One times three does give me three. So let's try it with the next one. Does two times three give me six? It does. Does three times three give me nine? Yes, it does. So what am I doing to my X to get my Y? I am multiplying X by three. Now remember, you can represent multiplication with the parentheses, with the dot, or by simply putting it next to your number, okay? What am I doing to X to get to Y? I'm multiplying it by three, okay? Now, what type of relationship is this? Is this an additive relationship or a multiplicative relationship? Remember, an additive relationship is when you add or subtract. A multiplicative relationship is if you multiply or divide. What did I do here? I multiplied, so that means my relationship is a multiplicative relationship, okay? All right, let's move on to some tables. All right, let's look at this one. It says, is the relationship shown in the table an additive relationship and explain, okay? Don't worry about the explain part because we have multiple choice. All right, so we need to see if it's an additive relationship. Remember, an additive relationship is if we add or subtract to get our answer. So if we look, we go from 2, 9, 4, 11, 6, 14, okay? Since my numbers are going up, I must have added or multiplied, okay? Now, since this is saying an additive relationship, I need to rule out multiplication. My answer needs to be in addition. So what can I add to 2 to get to 9? If you said seven, I will agree with you. 
let's see if it follows that same pattern. Is four plus seven, 11? Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yes, it is. Is six plus seven, 14? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, that one didn't work, okay? It looked like plus seven was going to work, but it didn't, um, it wasn't true for the last one. And if we look down here at our answer choices, I don't see one that tells me that I'm adding seven to it. So my option here would have been D, none of the above match what's happening in this table, okay? All right, let's do one more. Is the relationship shown in the table an additive relationship and explain, okay? So again, it has narrowed it down to us to additive relationship. Remember an additive relationship is if you add or subtract. So let's look at our numbers. We go 6, 8, 9, 11, 12, 15. My numbers are increasing. So that means I either added or multiplied, but because this is an additive relationship, I'm going to knock out the multiplication. I need to have added something. So what can I add to six to get eight? If you said two, I agree with you. Let's see if it, it works for the other ones. Is nine plus two, 11? Nine, 10, 11, that works out. Is 12 plus two, 15? 12, 13, 14, oh, that one didn't work either, okay? It looked like it was gonna be plus two, but that didn't work out. Now, that might've been a trick one because it does have X plus two. You remember, you need to check all of your answer choices to make sure that the equation that you're coming up with is actually correct, okay? So plus two probably would've been a good choice for us, but it doesn't work with the last ordered pair. So again, we're going to select none of the above, okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that this kind of refreshes you on what you need to do to be able to determine additive and multiplicative relationships and how to take your information from a graph to a table to an equation. All right, guys, go on your folder, retake your quiz, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.